We're going to go downstairs, and we are going to celebrate a baptism tonight. Let's go in two minutes. Actually, in one minute now. If you want to go ahead and make your way to the baptistry, you can do that. Because you got about a minute, and we're going to head downstairs and celebrate a baptism. You know what? I'm going to make an audible. We're all going to go to the baptism, a baptistry now. So go ahead and head downstairs to the baptistry with me, each other. We're going to celebrate a baptism together at the beginning of the year. How cool is that? Head on outside, downstairs, and we will celebrate together. Thank you, guys. Pause the Spotify. I got you, I got you, no way already.
up everybody. Let's make our way over and get ready for our time of worship. As we're getting started, I just want to encourage everyone to pray over this new year.
singing together tonight. We believe that our God deserves a praise, so let's sing this together. In the darkness, we were waiting without hope, without light. Till from heaven, you came running. There was mercy. To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dirt Praise the Father Praise the Son song giving all the praise and all the glory to God and today is January 1st 2023 it's amazing how time flies so fast like six months ago we were at camp like that doesn't make sense to me but right about but still time flies and so as time is flying we sometimes get distracted with all the things that are coming in 
and we tend to lose focus of who God is in our lives and we tend to put him in a shelf and say all right God I know that you're there when I need you but only when I need you I'll, I'll come back to you later but sometimes we tend to forget that the God that created us like he knows when we're busy and when we're not he knows that you have time for him but you tend to put we tend to put everything else before him and slowly and slowly we start putting idols before God and we tend to lose focus of who God is in our life we put other things before him sports friends you make that a priority you make that to find you we make that to find us I am who I am because of my friends but no you are who you are because of Jesus he created you and so as we come into this new year let's make that change together that God I'm not gonna put you as an idol I'm not gonna put you as a little trophy on my bookshelf but I'm gonna use you every day I'm gonna come to you every day I'm gonna seek you every day because we need more of him this year more than ever in all the years to come so let's pray together and then we can grab communion that's in the back and the prayer cards are over there dear God we thank you for this day we thank you for the opportunity that we have to just be in this place God to just worship you freely without any judgment God and I just thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives I thank you for a new year and I just pray that this year more than ever we just glorify you that we seek you that we desire your presence more than we can desire anything that this world can give us God I pray that you just start moving right here and right now in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You guys can go grab communion. Stand and sing one more song. I love you. 
Lord. And I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me. And all my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. We sing this together. All my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able And I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice and I love your voice me through the fire in darkest night you are close like no other I know you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God and I believe that's true and all my life you have been faithful Day. Thank you for a new opportunity to come and to worship you, God. And God, I just pray that everyone in this room makes it their prayer for 2023, that God, that we believe this year, God, that your goodness is running after us, God, that we believe that for all of our lives, God, that you've been faithful, that you love us, that you hold us in your hand, God. Pray that every student in this room can remember that and hold on to that truth, God. Because we all know it's true. And I pray for the message. And I just pray that we're all impacted by what is said tonight. So in your name we pray, amen. Hello, hello. All right. You can all have a seat. Have a seat. Man, it's like 2023 now. It's a whole new year. 
like, when I think of like 2023, I kind of just think of like Jordan brand. So I'm like, this year I'm gonna take everything personal. So like, if you look at me funny, I will drop 60 on you and score a game winner. Anyways, um, welcome back to church. There's no better way to like start off church or start off the year than with Jesus. And I'm actually having an announcement for you guys, right? It's a pretty big announcement. We've heard it for a little while now, but we are having the Forward Conference, not this week, but next week from Thursday through Saturday, Thursday and Friday in the afternoon after school, so you can still come, and then Saturday morning and then Sunday at six. If you wanna register, the QR code is right there. It's only like $25, so it's super simple. And actually, real quick, um, I just, a real quick question. If you've been to the high school weekend before, can you like raise your hand? Raise your hand. Up, up. Okay, cool. So if you have any questions, right, ask these people. The Ford Conference and the high school weekend, not the exact same thing, but it's still similar with messages that will hit you in your core, worship that might make you want to cry, and a lot of fun in our life groups. So it'll be a really good time. I really suggest that you register. QR code is right there, and we have little uh, cards in the back if you want those. So, right now, we're going to go into a game. If you've been around church for a little while, you might be familiar with this. It is called Head, Shoulders, Knees, Shoes, and I am going to explain it. So, actually, I actually need, like, a volunteer to help me explain it. Does anyone want to go? Veronica? Sick. Okay, okay. So, this is how it's going to work. You can stand there, right? So, if you don't know how this game works, you are going to get one partner, right? And you're going to stand across from them. And now, this next part is really important. The person with the least smelly feet has to take off one of their shoes, okay? I have laces, so that's all you. Um, and you'll place the shoe right in the middle of both of you, right? Now, when I say a body part, you're going to put your hands there. So when I say head, you're going to put your hands on your head. When I say knees, hands on your knees. Shoulders, shoulders. When I say shoe, you grab the shoe as fast as possible, okay? Does that make sense? Cool, cool. So we're just going to keep going. If you don't grab the shoe, you get to sit down. But if you grab the shoe, you go on to the next round. We're going to go to the last person standing, okay? So right now, if you can get up, find a partner, find someone to partner with, maybe someone on the other side of the room. You know, seniors, maybe find a freshman. Sophomores, find a junior. Mix and mingle. Yeah, you can go. Thanks. Find your partner. Whose drip are you going to steal today? You may not be able to be friends after this. Does anyone need a partner? Anyone want to raise their hand? Anyone need a partner? All right, all right. You guys are looking like you're ready. Are you guys ready? Sick, sick, okay. This first one is just a warm up, okay? Just a warm up, just to get used to it, okay? So. Starting in three, two, one, head, knees, shoulders, knees, head, shoulder, shoulder, feet, shoe. Wow. See, now you know the pace. Now you know how it's going to go. You know the flow. That was just a warm up. You know, get your blood pumping, you know, get those reflexes ready. Twitch fibers. Do your ISO holes. You'll gain that strength. Okay, this one is for real. This one is for real, okay? Starting in three, two, one. Head, shoulders, knees, shoulders, elbow, shoulders, head, knees, shoulders, shoe. If you do not have a shoe in your hand, find your seat, find your seat. If you still have a shoe, find someone new. Only winners are continuing, okay? It's all or nothing, find someone new. Raise your hand if you need a partner. Anyone need a partner? Over here, we need a partner over here, you two. Anyone need a partner? Y'all ready? Okay, okay, okay. Do your breathing, do your breathing, do your stretching, you know, don't pull anything. Okay, three, two, one. Knees, feet, shoulder, head, knees, elbow, knees, knees, socks, 
Shoot. <laughs> he has two hands on. He has two hands. He, I saw, I was watching. He touched it first. He touched it first. You have to sit down. That's just how it is. How it is. Okay, raise your hand if you're still in. Who's still in? Sit down. You know. <laughs> okay, okay. Who's still in? Over here. Over here, you two are. Who needs it? Does anyone need a partner? <laughs> are you good? Good. Find your partner. Get your shoes ready. Actually, if you're still in, can you come to the front for me so we can all see you? Okay, these are the semifinals. I hope you know the pressure's on the winner. The winner is the first champion in 2023. Ultimate bragging rights, okay? So get ready. Three, two, one. Shoulders, knees, shoulders, feet, head, shoulders, feet, elbows. Socks. What's like the back, I don't know, kneecap, <laughs> earlobe, your chin, your shoe. <laughs> the final two, the final two. Okay. I'm going to need you guys to introduce yourself. So, what is your name? Zion. Zion? Can we give it up for Zion? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. In the right corner we have Diego. Diego, come on, give it up for Diego, Diego. Okay. I'm gonna need y'all to count down with me, okay? So we're gonna go on one, okay? Three, two, one. Knee, head, shoulder, knee, feet, elbow, ear, head. What if I just like don't say a body part? You're like, how long do you think they'll stand there? They're squatting too, but they're getting a mad burn. That's crazy. That could not be me. Yeah. Feet. <laughs> Head. Knees. Shoulder. Chin. Lower back. Upper back. Quad. Hamstring. Your traps. <laughs> I don't know, hope you took anatomy. Um, head, knees, toes, feet, head, shoulder, shoe. Oh, can we give it up for Diego? 2023 January champion of head, shoulder, knees, and shoe. Wow, Diego, I'm proud of you. You did a good job, you did a good job. So we have one more announcement, one more. This Wednesday, as in three days from today, we are going to be at the park for a park day at the Tamarack Sports Complex. It's like somewhere over there. And we're gonna be at the fields. We're gonna be playing like soccer, like World Cup. We like that now. We're gonna be playing soccer, dodgeball, football, anything that we can come up with. Uh, Mikey will be there. All of us will be there. It's a nice time to have fellowship, to have fun, bond. Make sure to drink water. Get your hydration, lace up your sneakers, and have some fun. So now that that is all said and done, we're going to be going into our message. But before that, let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and pray over the message in the new year. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, you are the Lord, our God, and we thank you so much for blessing us with another year of life. Father God, I pray that as we're starting off our year with you here, Lord, I pray that we would just set apart this year for you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would help us to focus on you, that you help us to overcome our flesh, overcome our shortcomings, and in our weakness that we would find strength, Lord God. Father, I'm praying over this message that we would be open to receive it and humble to accept it. Lord, I pray that you'd put the right words in Mikey's mouth so that we could understand what you're trying to say to us, Lord. And I pray that we'd be able to uh, take action from what we learned today. We thank you so much. We love you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Josh. appreciate that. Can we go for Josh for leading us in some fun tonight? Appreciate that. I'm not going to stand up here. Is that okay? I like it better down here. Feel, it just feels right this year. Hey, can we give it up uh, also for our baptism that happened tonight? Where's Miss, where is she? Great job. So pumped about that. It's super cool. First 
student baptism of 2023. That's amazing. I love it. Kicking off the new year the right way. Uh, Well, happy new year to you guys, if I haven't said that yet, but my name is Mikey. I'm so glad that you are here tonight, and I'm excited for what we're doing on Wednesday. Come out, hang with us at the park, but I want to tell you about the Forward Conference. I know we already talked about it, but before I get into my message, I just need to um, remind you of just how important this event is, and if you're not sure, maybe you're on the fence, just give it a shot. Here's the cool thing about the Forward Conference. Thursday night is the first night. You can be a part of that. Thursday night is the second night, obviously. Saturday. Saturday, we're doing a serve day. We're serving our community, putting our words and our faith into practice. Sunday night it is another session um, with amazing worship and a speaker. We're so excited about that. But on Wednesday night, look at your neighbor and say, Wednesday night. To prepare for the first ever Forward Conference, we're having what we're going to call Team Night, okay? We've done these a couple times, um, but we want to encourage you guys to be at Team Night. And here's something really cool about Team Night. It's going to be a night where we're going to pray and kind of cast the vision for what the Forward Conference is. If you call community students your home and you want to invest in this place, this that Wednesday night before, with the, before the Forward Conference is going to be an amazing time for you to invest in your student ministry. Uh, The cool thing is the first 50 people that come to team night also get a forward conference shirt, like an exclusive shirt that you can only get at team night, but only the first 50 people can get that. We would love to see you guys here to be a part of it um, because we believe in investing, not just having fun because we're going to do that, but we want to have a group of students investing in the spiritual side of what's going to happen within those four days. So come be a part of that. The Wednesday before conference is team night. Write that down wherever you need to put it. Come be a part of that's going to be here, um, here and on the terrace upstairs. So be here for that for team night before the forward conference. Hey, it's 2023, and I want to talk about something tonight to help us make this year the best year that it can be. Now look to the person next to you and say, "Built different, built different." Um, Here's what I want to do. I I was trying to think of a just, I don't know, I couldn't think of another way to kind of explain it, but um, my mind has been drawn to this concept through scripture, this idea of building your life. There are songs that talk about building our life. There's songs about having the right foundation. There's verses about building your life in certain ways. And I've just been thinking about this a lot. Sometimes God brings these themes uh, to my mind, just these different things. And scripture kind of pops out in different ways. And this has been one of the themes recently that has just been brought to my attention a lot. And I'm like, man, I I really think God wants me to communicate this somehow to our student ministry. So that's where we're at tonight. And I want to talk about how can we build a better year this year? How can we build our life in the way that God created us to build it? We want to build a better life this year. We want to build a better life this year. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you built something? When was the last time you built something? Please, you can raise your hand. Tell me, what was the last thing that you built? What'd you build? Like a model of what? Of a motor, a model of a motor, okay? I love that's kind of a tongue twister. Model of a motor, what else? What else did you build? A model robot at one in the morning, amen. Okay, what'd you build? A Lego set, anyone else still rocking Lego? I mean, come on, you got to, it's so fun. What did you build? A what? A tent, wow, it, did, did it work? Like, did it fall over? Or did you like, get inside of it and it like fell? It did? Oh, okay. But you built a tent. I love it. What else did we build? You built a soccer goal for your nephew? Was it for Christmas? Yeah. That's the best thing. Like, the kids don't really realize that, like, there's a lot of work that goes. You got to get, like, the batteries. Like, there's a whole process. The batteries got to go. You got to build it. Then you got to put it together. It's a whole thing. Yeah. What else? What else did we build? One more. What did you build? A birdhouse. Anyone else ever build a birdhouse before? That's fun. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Maybe you've built some. Maybe you've built something, uh, or you did back in the day, like on Minecraft, right? Back when you played that, or whatever. You built something on there. Maybe you built something with Lego. Maybe you built something else. I don't know. Um, the concept of building has always been something that has just been so interesting to me. I mean, one of the things that I love is you can go to like a big city. Raise your hand if you've ever been to New York City. Who in here has been to New York City? Shout out. I've been one time. It was super fun. But one of the coolest things to me is looking at these massive skyscrapers. And you just like, you're at the bottom of it and you look up and you're like, you can't even see the top of it. Like how in the world was there a group of people that A, figured out a way to like draw this out 
measure it out, and then B, get up there and build it. I mean, do you think about that? Like, I'm afraid of heights. Like, there's no way I would be on that team. But they've got, like, these scaffoldings and these cranes. They're building these giant skyscrapers. But the most important thing about that or something like a bridge, when you build something, your goal is to build something that has a purpose. But in order for it to fulfill its purpose, it has to be built correctly. It has to be built um, consistently. And it has to be built strong, Right? If you have a, a building or structure that isn't consistent, it isn't done properly, it isn't strong, what's going to happen to that structure? It's going to fall over. Or like a bridge, right? It's not going to hold the weight that it's supposed to hold. And then you have all this sorts of crazy stuff that happens after that. Like you want to make sure that your bridge serves its purpose by being built correctly, consistently, uh, and, and done in a way that's going to be strong. So for us, the question is, how can we build our lives this year so we build our lives in the way that God is calling us to build them, that we build our lives in a way that, that is strong, the strongest life that we can have or faith that we can have with God. And how do we build our lives in a way that's just consistent, following who God is calling us to be? Uh, I watched a show recently. I don't know if you guys have seen the show, Lego Masters. It's a show on TV, okay? Um, yes, uh, even if you don't really like Lego, okay, just, just watch one episode, I mean, because it's so fascinating to me that there are people out there, like adult humans, that can like build these insane things out of these tiny little pieces. And they get in teams of two, right? They all have like teams of two. And they compete against other teams of two, and they're given like an objective or a mission. And they have to build based off of that. They only have a certain amount of time. And then these judges judge their buildings off of different criteria, right? Well, there was this one episode where they had to build a tower, but the catch was they had to, had to build a tower that was then going to be placed on a, like, mini earthquake simulator. So it's like this table about this high, and you put your, your tower on there, and it has a knob, and you turn the knob up, and it, it just shakes, right? And then it goes faster, shakes faster, shakes faster, right? A until the, whatever's on top of it collapses, falls apart, breaks, whatever. So they're trying to see which team can last the longest, which tower can be uh, the strongest tower on this simulator. Well, I'm watching this episode, and there's this one team, and they build this tower that absolutely looks phenomenal. I mean, it looks great. Uh, it's the best looking tower out of all the teams. I love the theme they went with. The colors look great. It just popped. I mean, it stood out from all the others in the room. But when it came time for them to place it on the simulator, they put it on there. It was the first tower, the fastest one to get knocked over. I mean, it wasn't strong at all compared to the others. It looked amazing, but on the inside, it wasn't strong. Here's my fear going into 2023. I don't want to build a life that looks good, but falls apart under pressure. I don't want to build a life that looks good on the outside to other people, but on the inside is broken. I don't want to build a life that on the outside, people are like, man, he's got it all together. But on the inside, man, I've got some stuff that I'm dealing with. I don't, I'm, I'm keeping hidden from other people. Man, I'm not following, the God, following God the way people think that I am. I want a life that in its core, inside of who I am, behind closed doors or in front of people, is strong with Jesus. I want to I build a life this year in 2023 that is consistently strong in Jesus. And, and I pray that you guys want to do the same thing as well. Well, here's how we're going to do it. I want you to write this down. It's going to be on the screen. Building or being built different means keeping Jesus in the corner. Everyone say corner. Keeping Jesus in the corner, I know what you're thinking, you're like, why would you put Jesus in the corner? Like, this is a reference for some of us uh, older people. You can't put Jesus in the corner. Um, but, like, that's kind of a weird concept. But what I, what I want to talk about is actually a verse where Jesus compares himself to what he calls the cornerstone. He calls himself the cornerstone. You can actually find this in the book of Matthew. I think we're going to have it up there. He talks about this. It should be the first passage. <clears throat> he says this, Jesus said to them, have you ever... Or have you never read in the scriptures, the stone the builders rejected, he's talking about himself, has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. He said the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus is talking about himself. You see, back in ancient times, before they had like the machines that we have, the technology that we have, the tools that we have, they had a very, very um, strict technique of how they started off a building project for, for a structure. 
And this cornerstone was the most important piece to start to have a, a good, solid structure. You see, uh, you probably can't see up here, but uh, you have your corner piece, right? Let's say you have a corner of a building. This corner piece that was right here lined up all the other stones that were going to fall in place, right? So this cornerstone here, if that cornerstone was tilted this way, all the stones behind it would be tilted the same way, right? Because it's lining up. If you have it shifted this way, all the stones would be shifted this way. So when you start, if that cornerstone is not level, if it's not completely smooth, if it's not the direction you want it to go for your structure, the entire structure is going to be off. And how terrible would that be? You get done with this whole thing and you're like, Huh, that doesn't look right, right? Like it's not because, because that first part, I mean, right when you started, that cornerstone piece was not where it should have been. And then the direction, the trajectory of that entire building is off. And Jesus is saying that about himself in our lives. He says, look, I am, I'm the cornerstone that other people are rejecting. But when I'm the cornerstone of your life, every other part of your life should line up with me. Everything. Right, if this corner piece is not me, what, what could happen, right? Things could go wrong. We were created to be built different, to keep Jesus in the corner. Everything else should line up with Jesus being in the corner, excuse me, of our life. So here's what I want you to do. I have three things for us tonight, and then I'll be done. Three things that I believe will, will align in our lives if Jesus is at the corner. Three things that we need to align. Here's the first one I want you to write down. Align what you do with what Jesus did. Align what you do with what Jesus did. Now, I was talking about this with some middle school students this morning, and um, one of them, they were like, well, I mean, Jesus walked on water. Like, I can't, I can't do that. I'm like, okay. I understand that, but, but what we're talking about here is I want to focus mostly, specifically, on, on how che Jesus chose to have an attitude, a, a proper attitude, a good attitude towards people. I want to talk about, about the way that Jesus loved other people, right? He put other people before himself. Uh, but first and foremost, beyond all of that, we see Jesus all throughout his life and his ministry. He put God, his Father, his Heavenly Father, first in his life, always, so when we say, hey, when you align your life with Jesus, one way we can do that is to align what we do with what Jesus did. Now, the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we spend time with Jesus. And it's really hard to spend time with Jesus without reading about Jesus. Now, maybe you have a Bible at home. Maybe you don't. If you don't, come talk to me. I think we have some here that we can give you, probably. Pretty safe bet. But hopefully you have one of these at home, and my encouragement to you this year would be, man, the more time you spend here, specifically in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you can read, you can dive deep historically into who Jesus was and what he did. And the more you read that, the more you can live that out in your life as well. It's really hard to live like Jesus without knowing how Jesus lived. We need to spend time with him to align what we do with what Jesus did. I love what 1 Corinthians says. 1 Corinthians 3.10. This is Paul writing. He's talking about um, actually a parable that Jesus said. 1 Corinthians 3.10 says this. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one, talking about us, should build with care. So he says, by the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder. Why does he say that? He says that because Jesus taught a parable about a wise and a foolish builder. Look to the person to your left and say wise. Look to the person to your right and say uh, foolish. Wise and foolish builder. Can we actually go back to that? It should be before the first point. It's a really long one. This is Jesus talking about this parable. <clears throat> he says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not what? Fall. Because it had its foundation on the what? The rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, uh, rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Jesus says, look, 
making me the cornerstone of your life means making me the foundation of your life, a.k.a. the rock of your life. When you build your life on Jesus, that firm foundation, the sturdy foundation, it's going to be as strong as it can be. Now, one thing that I love about this, I love that the very beginning, he says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice... Is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. So when it, when it comes to putting Jesus as the cornerstone of our life, we have to open this, read this, spend time in this, but not just that, doing what it says, putting it into practice, looking at how Jesus treated people and treating them the same way, looking at how Jesus loved God and doing it the same way, spending time with him. Align what you do with what Jesus did. Here's the second thing we can align. Align your thoughts with godly thoughts. Align your thoughts with godly thoughts. If we want to have a different year this year, we need to align our thoughts with godly thoughts. I love what Colossians 3, 1 through 4 says about this. One of my favorite passages in the Bible. Colossians 3, 1 through 4. I think we have that. Right now, there it is. Thank you. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds, everyone say minds, on things above, not on earthly things. For you have died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Looking at verse 2, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. I think one of the most humbling things for me every single new year is I look back at the previous year and I realize, man, how much time I spent thinking about other things besides Jesus. Thinking about other things, wasting so much time uh, occupying my mind with things that weren't godly, things that were destructive, things that were discouraging, things that were not lining up with the word of God. And I look at that like, man, this year I want it to be different. But the only way it's going to be different is if I'm spending time in the words of God because the words of God will help me to think about godly things more this year than last year. Align your thoughts with godly thoughts. Here's the last thing that we can do. Uh, to build a different ear. Align who you are around with those who build others up. Look to the person next to you. Look to the other person you just ignored. Look to somebody behind you, in front of you. As we go into 2023, we must ask ourselves the question, are we around people who are making us better? Are we around people who are making us better? It's that plain and simple. And for some of you, you hear that question, you're like, I almost don't want to answer because I know what the answer is going to be, and it's not going to be the answer I probably should say because I kind of know where you're going with this because we're in church and I get that. Here's what I want to challenge you to do this year. It is okay to make adjustments in the world of friendships. It's okay for you to be honest with somebody and say, hey, we're probably not going to spend as much time together this year. You know, I'm changing some things in my life, and I'm just trying to be a better person. And if they're not with that, then you probably shouldn't be friends with them anyway. Honestly, we need to spend more time around people who are going to make us better. We need to spend time around people who are going to point us towards Christ. We need to be around people who are going to be encouraging and not discouraging. I love what 1 Thessalonians 5.11, this is short and sweet and simple. Amen for that. Let's go. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as you are doing Don't be the person that drains life from the people around you. Be somebody who pours life into people, right? The more time we spend in this book, the more time we have godly thoughts, the more we are going to treat people in a way that is godly and full of love and compassion and encouragement. And you know what? Who doesn't want to be around love and encouragement? Amen? Be that person this year and be around those people this year year. Align who you are around with those who build others up. Let me just recap this really quick. We must align what we do with what Jesus did. We must align our thoughts with godly thoughts, and we must align who we are around with with others uh, who are building other people up. And let me go back. If you've just zoned out, please zone back in for this last part. I want to go back to that thought of the cornerstone, because I believe this is so monumental, so powerful going into this year. 
So many of us right now, if we were to be honest, we are trying to make this cornerstone something that's not even a stone. We're trying to make this stone something that's not Jesus. We're like, man, instead of this being a stone, it's a phone. And it's making everything all crazy. The rest of our life is being built all the different directions and it just doesn't feel right. Some of us are trying to replace that stone with a controller. I don't know, for a PS5 or an Xbox or something, a keyboard, whatever. And it's just going weird directions. Some of us, this stone, it's a relationship. That relationship is going to let you down. I promise it will. Jesus being the cornerstone, he will never let you down, ever. But we spend so much time making this corner something that is completely off, and we think we're nailing it. We're like, man, my life's good. It's good. You know why? Because we distract ourselves. But when it comes to it, and we lay our head down on our pillow at night, and we think about who we actually are on the inside, not on the outside, the inside, what is at the corner of our life. If we want to build a different year, Jesus should be the cornerstone. Jesus should be the cornerstone. I'm going to have my friend uh, Sam and Nashley come up. We're going to sing another song, but here's what I want to challenge you guys to do tonight. We're going to talk about this in a little bit, and then we're going to go um, and just kind of hang out tonight before we leave, but I want to challenge you with this thought. Where in your life do you need to make a change So Jesus can finally be that cornerstone again. What is something you need to get rid of and replace so Jesus can be in that spot that he should be in? Who are the people you're spending time with? What are the thoughts that you have on a regular basis? Who are you around the most? What needs to change in your life to build a better year this year spiritually than you did last year? I'm telling you right now, today can change. You can make a change today, and I pray that you will. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we're so thankful that we get to spend time in your word. God, I pray that that in this room, we start a movement of spiritual builders who stop looking at their life as just something that's earthly, but something that is spiritual something that is radical, something that is spirit-filled. God, I pray that we would do whatever it takes to make you the cornerstone of our lives. God, we want our actions to line up with you. We want our thoughts to line up with you. We want the people around us to line up with you. God, we want to be as close to you as we can this year. We want this year to be different, Lord. God, we're ready for it. God, we're ready for it. God, we're ready to make the changes. I pray that you would fill us with humility, that you would fill us with wisdom, that you would fill us with discernment, God, that we would make better choices this year to make our life more lined up with you as the cornerstone. God, we love you. We're so grateful for the grace that you pour out, the love that you distribute to to all who call on your name, God. I pray that we would call on you tonight, that we would lean into you tonight, and that this year would just be so much better as we have you at the cornerstone of everything that we are. Lord, we love you. We thank you for Jesus. It's in the powerful name of Jesus we pray. And everyone said, amen. Hey, guys, let's stand. Let's sing together. In Christ, in Christ is my firm foundation.
can stay standing, stay standing. Um, we have just a couple minutes left, but what I want to do, I want to end a little bit differently tonight. Um, I want to end by kind of circling up in groups and doing two things. First thing is answering a question, which is what is something that you can do differently this year spiritually than you did last year to, to make Jesus that cornerstone, and then followed by praying together as a group. So here's what I want to do. If your group leader is here, I know there's some of our group leaders are here tonight. If your group leader is here, I would encourage you to go to your group leader and circle up with them. 
If they're not here, my encouragement would be for you guys to get in groups of maybe five or six and do those two things before you leave, okay? So ready, go. If your group leader is here, you can go find them and circle up with them. If they're not, get with five or six people and stand, kind of huddle and talk about what is something you can do differently that's uh, spiritual this year. And then the second one is praying together, praying for your year and doing that in that way. If you're not sure if your group leader's here or not, that's okay. You can just jump in a group, maybe five or six people, and uh, talk about what can, you, what can you do differently this year spiritually, and then what is something that you can pray together about. If you're in a junior, my junior guys in my group and Mike's group, we're here. So if you guys want to hang out with us in the corner, we'd love to meet with you guys and pray with you, my junior dudes.
If you guys haven't already, go ahead and take time as a group to pray together, start wrapping it up, and then I'll pray for all of us and we'll, uh, we'll be dismissed to kind of hang out. And we'd love to see you guys on Wednesday. That'd be awesome. Let me pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we are thankful uh, to spend the first day of the year with you and with each other uh, in worship and just in your word. God, I pray that this year would be different, that we would choose to, to focus more on you and line, align everything that we do with you, that you would be our filter, you'd be our foundation. And God, I pray that from everything in our lives that it all connects back to you. We love you. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you for this place. And we just pray, God, for another great year. It's in Jesus' name I pray and everyone said... Amen. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. We'd love to see y'all on Wednesday at the park. And if you can't go to that, we'll see y'all on Sunday night next Sunday. You guys are awesome. Wait, I forgot something. I forgot something. I am so sorry. It is someone's birthday, and they brought us food. So we have to celebrate and just party. Mr. Takoda, where you at, bro? TK, just raise your hand, dude. I know. Let's just get through this, and we'll, we'll celebrate him. TK, he's right over there with the hat on. Let's sing happy birthday to TK. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Takoda. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yes. My friend Dee Dee is going to, uh, can you bring the cookies to one of the high top tables? That'd probably be better. And you guys can grab, don't go crazy. Let's, let's try to uh, leave some for everybody. So maybe, I don't know, two to start, two things. And uh, we'll celebrate TK. Dakota, thanks, bro. You're awesome. Also, make sure you give him a high five. Thank you. Sometimes it's just fun to be mad Thinking of the trouble we had But sometimes it's just fun to be mad Thinking of the trouble we had When I know that I was right I didn't die another fight Cause it's fun to be mad If you get defensive, I'm glad Deep down I know this isn't right But I get stuck inside my mind Still mad Honey cake, honey cake Yeah, honey grand, honey cake Honey bands, what a day Underneath the sun ain't nothing new But it's a sunny day Tryna spend this money like he coming He ain't running late Distro kid, cut the check Indie trial, cut the cake Honey grand, honey K, honey bands What a day Look, chasing out the money Make you run in place Look, I just call my mother Said your son is straight Okay, you don't break that bread up That's a ton of weight Had to double up on generosity
tea. When I up the feed, know he threw my sin inside the sea. Left it on the tree. Demons, they be looking real depressed. Put it on a tea. I can't treat the greed like it's a pet and put it on a leaf. I just need some tender love and care. There's a lot of creeps chasing waterfalls and in the mud and then he scrub me clean. Yeah, TLC, I'm good. I feel like GLC. Laughing all the way up to the bank. I feel like peeling key. I was busy cuddling up to Calvin. It was killing me. Think that's when I met the Lord, but felt like he wasn't feeling me. Made it hard to love the poor and widows, let alone the Lord. I was focused on the court and if he had acquitted me. Okay, I know that Yahweh made the payment and he paying me to play with nouns and verbs and make a case to all the laity. Lay down all your greed. That's if you pay the if you patient. Waiting on a check. You could be faithful with your frailty. You see these rebots on my fee. I got three parity. But I didn't cop my single pop. BYOD took care of me. Secure the fee apparently and now I got security. Tingo two male kids a day. Tingo to a charity. Yeah, 100 grand, 100 K, 100 bands. What a day. Underneath the sun ain't nothing new but it's a sunny day. Trying to spend this money like he coming. He ain't running late. It's your kid. Cut the check. Indie trial. Cut the cake. 100 grand, 100 K, 100 bands. What a day. Look, chasing out the money make you run in place. Yeah, I just call my mother, said your son is straight. Yeah, you don't get yeah. that bread up, that's a ton of weight. I just got a hundred thousand followers. Billy, you so musical. She ain't talking Oliver. We got lots of chemistry. What is that, a polymer? Andy Tribe is in the house, like an ankle monitor. Yeah. Look, thank God for the platform. Ink all in my passport. Industry is cold as Minnesota, better pack more. Me and Velo, that's two W's like tax forms. John and Mowgli tight, I not need you to platform. Thank you. I pity the fool, I take that back. Philippians too. Had some friends, I kicked it with that disappear like Freddy, I do. My girl sweet like honey in my tummy. Feel like we need a poop. Funny like Arsenio, mixed with Minio, making William Tony. Yeah, oh yeah, get paid off the internet like Comcast. Most of the stuff I'm hearing on the internet is bomb bad. Had a vision, we in line for heaven, and we all last. Christ ain't, ain't no internet in heaven, I said it long last.
sure. I bought you a ring, uh huh. The pain of my life is the girl of my dreams, uh huh. So is everything as hard as it seems, or are we dialed in on all the wrong things, you know? Hey, what is you gotta dance with me? Kick it to sex, baby, this free, uh uh. Save it for some other time. And I pick my battles, but this joint is not a choice, baby. You can speak your mind, but that might have me losing my eye. I know you love to look like you, just not that into me. And I see that off. A rim might just not be the remedy. You came all this way to put some dents in my identity. So we go find an outlet for that energy. Okay, okay. Hey, what is you rather dance with me? Kick it to sense, baby. This free, uh uh. So good, he's been so good to me. He's been so good. Oh, oh, you oh. are so beautiful. Here in your holiness. Lord, I wanna be less. So I let my heart confess. You are so beautiful. Before your majesty. You showed me love when all I felt was trash. So unusual You snatch me straight out that funeral Ooh. I 
can't wait to see your eyes one day. I've been thinking about it, and it's a blessing just to think that I can think about it. I know some people been searching and so they drink about it. But for the cup I drink from, will never run. It's what my life on. Asked for a life vest. He said, son, this is lifelong. Holy Spirit driven. Had to learn to keep the bright sun. Putting God in a box like seeing Shaq with some tights on. Why well, I been losing by the grip of the python. I shed skin, new hymns. I got Christ on. Here is your home. Sitting on this plane could be my last breath, but I ain't scared of death, cause I got my God in me. And if I die today, I know he did his job with me. And I still lift up your name, cause you are so beautiful. Here in your holiness, Lord, I wanna bless. So I let my heart confess. You are so beautiful. Before your majesty, you show me love when all I felt was tragedy. And that's why I'm Set me free and you gave me freedom. You gave me freedom. 
show club who this is? Is Who that? Who that is? Here we go.
not afraid cause you're never far away, no I'll be okay cause you're never far away, no You're here to stay cause you're never far away You know away. I hate it when you leave the phone off And I don't know everything, I know enough Guess I made a little static, you say I'm too dramatic My baggage was a packet, yeah Don't ask if I'm sure, I bought you a ring, uh-huh The pain of my life is the girl of my dreams, uh-huh So is everything as hard as it seems Save it for some other time And I pick my battles But this joint is not a choice, baby You can speak your mind But that might have me losing my eye I know you love to look like you Just not that into me And I sleep that off But rent might just not be the remedy You came all this way To put some dents in my identity So we gon' find an outlet For that energy, okay, okay See your eyes one day I've been thinking about it And it's a blessing Just to think that I can think about it I know some people Been searching And so they drink about it But for the cup I drink from Will never run It's what my life on As for a life vest He said, son This is lifelong Holy Spirit driven Had to learn to keep the bright sun Putting God in a box Like seeing Shaq With some tights on Well, I've been losing By the grip of the python I shed skin New hymns I got Christ on Here in your holiness Lord Sitting on this plane could be my last breath But I ain't scared of death Cause I got my God in me And if I die today I know he did his job with me And I still lift up your name Cause you are so beautiful Here in your holiness Lord I wanna bless So I let my heart confess You are so beautiful Before your majesty You show me love when all I felt was tragedy And that's why I'm Like 
All right. Hey, people, what's up? I'm officially going to ask that you guys head outside. We're going to start turning off the lights and closing the doors. So we want to encourage you guys to head outside and downstairs. If you guys could go outside and downstairs, that'd be awesome. This would also be a good time to tell your parents, hey, come pick me up. Make sure you're not stranded. Or if you drive, then just leave, I guess. But um, we're so glad you guys came tonight. Thank you so much. Guys playing basketball, it's officially time to head outside and downstairs for me. One more shot, go. You gotta make it though. All right, I believe in you. Great work. You are the goat. Head outside and go downstairs. Oh, bro, now you ended on a miss, bro. No, 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 just leave it, leave it, leave it. You gotta leave it. Oh, I got your phone. Outside and downstairs. You guys rock. Thank you. Hey, Diego, can you unplug those LED lights for me? Just unplug them, literally from the outlet. Just pull that out. Yeah. It's, it's that simple, I promise. You won't break anything. True. You'll pay for it. 